Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Libra, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship between these two. All right, I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio. And then I'll pull individual energy for Libra. And then we'll get into it. Let's go. Guys, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. Scorpio, give me your energy in this relationship with Libra, please. What is your... What are your feelings right now in this relationship? Phase entanglement. There's some emotional influence. I don't know if somebody is... I feel like because I did ask, what are your feelings? You feel like somebody's got you entangled in something. Emotional influence. Emotional influence means manipulation. Somebody could be gossiping, saying things. That could be you off to the left in the corner while this one's telling that one and her face is like, oh. And somebody's like looking. I don't know if that's somebody else who's against you or something like that, but you've gotten yourself entangled in something via this Libra here. They said something about you. All right, something where it's going to be hard for you to find some kind of harmony with this person, but that's what you feel right now. Give me more, please. Scorpio. What else? Give me your feelings at the moment in this relationship with Libra. Personal guide. I feel like you're misdirecting me. Guardian angel, spirit, family. I'm being misdirected. Somebody's not telling me something about what's going on in this relationship. I'm being talked about. You're supposed to be a personal guide. You're not guiding me. There's something here about somebody shady in the group and somebody making sure that there's no action taken towards something. Give me more for Scorpio in this relationship with Libra. Ascended masters, devoted spirits with specific intentions. I feel like something steps in to help. Ascended masters, they step in to help. I feel like they're going to create some balance here. And I, ha I feel like there's very specific intentions. There's something, this is being done on purpose, right? It's to teach you something, to send you to a higher place, Scorpio. Mm. We also have power, truth, and connection. You're being lied to. That's how you feel about this, this situation. This is the angel of the seven chakras here, all right? This is you understanding that you weren't told something. Being powerless, not having the truth, and not connected. Somebody intentionally, this group intentionally did this. This is a group of people that are influencing Scorpio. And I hate to say it, Scorpio, it looks like your Libra is a part of the crew. Your Libra that you're dealing with in this relationship, they were part of this mess. All right, so this is why your situation is what it is. Your Libra had something to do with it. All right, straight up. Now, Libra, we're going to pull and see what's going on with you. It was the Libra out talking and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Yup. What else is going on? What else is going on? Please give me Libra's energy in this relationship with Scorpio. Now that's what it says. Those are Scorpio's feelings. Give me Libra's feelings in this relationship with Scorpio. Joy, blessing, and intuition. So Libra's getting some joy out of this. This is their, their feeling right now. A joy, blessing, and intuition. All right. I see that you guys are trying to find harmony after a time of conflict. Give me more, please. Libra, what's going on? Kinship. Mm. Community, your group. Something about, okay, groups are definitely influencing both sides of these folks. Scorpio has a group, and they're talking about them. Libra has a group, but it looks like Libra is walking away from it, or there's something where the community is not supporting them. Community, your group. Something joy blessings your group. Kinship. It looks like some sort of rejection of whatever they're thinking or they're rejecting whatever hypotheses or whatever you live by. Something like that. Give me more for Libra. What's Libra's feelings right now in this relationship? Soulful appreciation. Heartfelt gratitude. There's a feeling of gratitude here. Soulful appreciation from the heart. Imbalance, not necessarily fear, but heartfelt gratitude. Give me more, please. What else is going on? What are Libra's feelings, please? I feel like there's a group that steps in here to change the feeling about something, but it doesn't equal out. It's still in balance. I want you to see this. There's still some imbalance here. All right, something happened to do with a, gro a group. I feel like some of you guys 
are going to get some sort of appreciation or something like that, Libra. But it's still an unfair deal here. The, the scales just don't balance out. I don't know if I would take it. I wouldn't. Journey guide. Travel, change in location. Some of you guys are moving on, changing locations here. That could be the heartfelt gratitude thing. Some of you guys feel like you don't belong. That's why you have kinship reverse. You guys are having trouble in a group. Something about heartfelt gratitude is a soulful appreciation, but I'm going to travel and change locations. I'll see you later. I'm going to work in another country. I'm going here. I'm going there. I'm switching jobs. Something like that. You guys are not happy with it. It is what it is. You're probably traveling somewhere. Looks like it's international true, too. All right, so I see something about travel coming up for you guys here. Let's get into it, all right? If I had to take a look at this, I would say that Libra, because it feels like you manipulated something here, something got said about Scorpio. Scorpio found out about it. And then whatever truth came out, your group wasn't checking for you. So you had to move on, travel, change locations, because again, they weren't checking for you. If you want me to put it in hood terms, I'm just saying. So let's take a look at the actual story here, all right? Scorpio, I see that you have the Eight of Swords. It comes up reversed here. Something about a relationship or a project that fell apart. So this relationship was falling apart for you guys. Scorpio's in denial about it. You don't want to face what's happening. The cards are saying that you need to consult with others to break the spell. So when I see that kind, that kind of context or that in a book, it says somebody put a spell. That's why I was talking about manipulation. I'm taking everything literally. Somebody was saying something or staring up something to get their result, right? We also have, this is supposed to be reversed. It's not, and I'm not changing it. We have the Knight of Swords that comes up reversed here. Now, this is about false heroics. This Scorpio loves drama, or there's a serious influence here of a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Libra, it keeps telling me that you tried to do something to Scorpio here to get what you wanted. We have the Knight of Swords that comes up reversed here, false heroics. It says Scorpio loves drama. As long as Scorpio can manipulate from the sidelines and leave other people to face the conflict. Take it how it resonates, it might be the other way. This is Scorpio's feeling, so Scorpio feels like Libra does this. I feel like you start a bunch of crap up, and then you get all this hell going, and now I got to go and fix it. You don't want to be the one to fix it. You want to manipulate from the sidelines while I got to go out, open the door, and tell off the mailman, all right? Or I got to tell off this one or that one, right? So it's almost like Scorpio's left to do the dirty work here. The cards do say, Scorpio, you need to watch out because there can be times where somebody around you or your Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, plays all twice so far. You can't rely on them. They're unreliable, untrustworthy. Someone around you is unreliable. There's an air sign around you that is unreliable. This person manipulates you. We have the two of cups that comes up. This is love and commitment, happy family, but it also talks about creative groups. So there's something with the two of cups that comes up. Maybe this is supposed to be a partnership, a proposal, a marriage. So it looks like this is what Scorpio wants. I want the two of cups with you, but I don't know if you really know the details of what Libra is about. When we have Libra, it's page of wands reverse tier manipulation, page of wands reverse manipulation. What is real becomes a fantasy, and what's a fantasy actually becomes real to this Libra. Now, it does say, Libra, that you're purposely withholding information from Scorpio. Purposely withholding information from Scorpio. It says that there's a malicious, malicious gossip going around about Scorpio, manipulated by you. It says it was a dedicated campaign to ruin Scorpio's reputation, Libra. That's what it says here. It says watch out for gossip and chatter that is created by you, Libra. So Scorpio has to watch out for the gossip and chatter created by you. It also says here that you guys want to be really careful when it comes to financial loss because Libra, it looks like there's some losses coming up for you. Financial losses, this is a warning for you guys to... Be careful with money dealings. You need to curb your materialism and be skeptical about people who value assets over friendship. So this could be a friendship. Or you could be friends with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, or 
Who's the last one? Scorpio, Taurus. Wait a minute, Scorpio, Taurus. Leo or Aquarius, yeah. Excuse me. Possibility. So you need to be watching out for these people and their actions and what they're really there for. Because again, there's materialism, there's manipulation. It looks like you manipulated something to go your way. The world card does come out reverse here. It talks about Libra having some sort of restriction. So I can't participate maybe in this two of cups because I'm restricted. All right. It says there's a failure to move forward. So there's two of cups that Scorpio is desiring, but there's a failure to move forward. The world card is reverse. Trapped in the past, so I can't move forward. Or I'm trapped by the needs of others, so I can't give you what you want, Scorpio. I can't because I got too many other people that need me. You know, not saying that you're not as important or whatever, but that's basically what it's saying. So I feel like Libra, with all this being said, it feels like your world is actually getting smaller. It's not able to expand. So you're kind of stuck dealing with the people or situations that you were dealing with where you have a Scorpio who wants to move on. Like, I want to move on from this. I realize there's a problem in this relationship. I was in denial and I don't know how to move to, how to move it forward. But then it says the Knight of Swords, false, false heroics. Something that starts trouble. You start trouble and you want other people to clean it up. I get to the place of two of cups and now you don't want to move. The common energy, which is what you guys both desire, both of you, you want to heal and you want to celebrate. You want your love to grow and you want it to grow to a new level. So I feel like for you guys, this could be a newer relationship or one that just hasn't developed yet. All right, something like that. But the cards do say that both you guys want to heal and be rejuvenated. You want to be rejuvenated physically and emotionally. So that's the common energy between you guys. You both want the celebration, but I feel like there are some things that get in Libra's way. Number one, Libra in this reading, want they want their way. All right, this Libra could have been caught up in some stuff, cyber crimes. I feel like there's some stalking. I can't give you what you want, but I'm still looking at you online. There's definitely somebody looking at somebody online. This Both you guys want to celebrate, but the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like... Libra did not get the outcome that they wanted with a new job, a raise, a promotion, an investment. The investment was you, Scorpio. And Libra didn't get what they wanted. But the common energy is you guys want the celebration. I don't know if it's together. But I see that that is a goal of yours. Mm, okay. Let's see what's going on in love with them. Because it says three of cups. Some of you guys could have grown this relationship. Because the three of cups... A circle of support. You guys are you guys have a serious support system here. I don't know if you guys have the same set of friends, but it's common or whatever. Show me love for these guys, please, Scorpio and Libra. Financial okay, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right. So something's up with finances here. I think that Libra was out for uh some kind of finances or some goal, some gain. Because Ace of Pentacles, they thought they were going to walk into some money and it didn't happen. What? It just, everything became opposite. So what was real was now a fantasy for Libra. And they wound up losing out on something. Financial loss because of an investment. Something about being materialistic. Doing all types of things to get money or manipulating paperwork because a card first, it says manipulation, past life relationship. You guys have known each other before, maybe in another lifetime. Maybe you guys ran into each other in passing, exchanged numbers or email addresses or whatever, and something developed. So you guys have known each other before, maybe just in passing. Give me more. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Scorpio, you need to pay attention if you have a Libra that's coming across as codependent. Pay attention to red flags because this person is out to get what you want. You wanted to move forward with the two of cups. Your Libra came back and said, uh, not going to do that. It stops, right? So rather than expanding, their world stays smaller, gets smaller, or remains the same. They have all these things pending, people that they have to deal with, people that ain't going nowhere. So that's something, and they're codependent. So they could want something from you. I feel like this person, I feel like Libra may have come in as a false heroic. But, Scorpio, you could be the dirty one in this too, though. You could. 
All right. Got that. Now, let me go ahead and get a conversation for you guys because I don't want this to be too long. Wow, this is a short one. This one was kind of like to the point. <clears throat> Give me a conversation between these two. What's a Scorpio? What? Ooh, check. Okay. What does Scorpio have to say to Libra? Let me just shuffle these on up. Shuffle. Put these over here because I already use those. Already use those. I'm moving everything out as I use them. Well, you know, to the other side of the table. And then I have your advice cards down here that I'm really hoping don't fall all over the place. All right, put those together. Give me a conversation, please. What does Scorpio have to say to Libra? What does Scorpio have to say to Libra, please? I stare at your picture a lot. You're so beautiful, says Scorpio. I stare at your picture. Now, it says here that Libra... Libra was probably staring at you too, but it was more cyber. It was something, it was something internet. Maybe they're just staring at you over the internet, or maybe they stopped looking at you on the internet. Because the world is reversed here. That suggests there's some cyber crime. I also see something, if you guys are looking at crime, something that represents human trafficking. Just a separate note that take what resonates. Scorpio to Libra. I have never known anyone else like you before. My feelings for you caught me by surprise. I stare at you a lot, but my feelings for you caught me by surprise. One more, Scorpio to Libra. Receiving a text from you always brightens my day. So there is some communication here. Staring at pictures. I, you know, I never known anybody like you before. It's manipulation. Because Libra's over there yelling presto and putting his stuff in the way. And they end up getting screwed. <clears throat> because of the investment that they made. Give me more. Libra, what do you have to say to Scorpio, please? It will take time and patience, but we can overcome our differences. Let's explore some solutions together. So Libra's like here. Let me give you some solutions. I'd be careful about that because remember, Libra's energy is coming across as already manipulating you, Scorpio. Or it could be the other way around. Give me more, please. What does Libra have to say to Scorpio? The feelings between us are mutual. I've never known each other, anybody like you before. Libra, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Libra, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Came out reverse, guys. I wasn't prepared for the importance you would have in my life. I was very prepared for the importance you'd have in my life. I came in with an agenda. Switch it up, guys, if you have to. You know, you know who's who in these reads. I do not. Give me the common energy between Scorpio and Libra in this relationship. I can't imagine life without you. You rock my world. And then you guys have the three of cups. So I feel like you guys do want to come together. But I feel like Libra is being shady about why they want to come together with Scorpio. I'd be really careful with that, Scorpio. I will look out for this Libra. Now, other energies that show up, because this is a shorter read, other energies that show up, we have the Eight of Swords that shows up. So there's a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here that comes after Scorpio. There's something with love and commitment. The Scorpio falls into a place where they're like, you know, reconciliation. Maybe we can work this out after a time of discord. So it suggests that there were some arguments had beforehand, right? Where Scorpio was like, yo, what's this about? Now with Libra, there's some kind of manipulation or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be trying to manipulate a Libra, whatever that's about. There's also a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo here that's going to make something. They're involved in something where you get financial loss because of an investment that you made. And you're being advised. It's a warning for you to watch your money, Libra. Because this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy that is in the mix when it comes to your finances, they're more concerned about assets. They're not worried about friendship. So I think there's a friend here, a friend that you do business with. You're also being advised not to gamble anything of value. Curb your materialism. Now, there is going to be some kind of restriction that comes up with the world card. There's something that you're not going to be able to do. Perhaps you guys are not going to be able to look online at Scorpio or vice versa, however this goes. But there's something where the world gets smaller. I'm not going to look at you like you're not a part of my equation anymore. But I feel like it's a reason why you can't. I feel like it's 
It feel like somebody told you, don't look over there like that. I don't know. I get these weird vibes. This manipulation and weird vibes. Like this whole, this, this little read to me is mad weird. I get it because it kind of feels like Libra does like Scorpio a little bit, but ooh, Libra's coming in with an agenda and the agenda is at eight of pentacles, which they didn't get. Okay. Give me advice, please. Advice for Scorpio in this read, in this read. Okay. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new phase of life. Scorpio, you got a new phase of life coming. Yes. Libra. Give me advice for Libra. What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Libra? Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra. Burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check when check in with your doctor dentist and health professional to try and maintain a healthy lifestyle you guys need to see a doctor you could be sick you could be burned out from doing something maybe you're burned out from manipulation because you guys have been doing a lot of manipulation like like literally every read somebody's doing something that almost equates to if it's not the gossiping is this is that you guys are burned out from it give me the common energy advice between these two i see that you guys want to heal from this that's the common energy. I don't know if you want to heal individually from this or you want to heal as a couple. I believe it is a couple that you want to heal as because there's a baby born. But remember, there's manipulation. So Libra probably manipulated a baby too. Or Scorpio, whoever. Let's put the people where they belong in this read, guys. All right. Give me advice, please. Common energy for these two. Personal riches, it came out reversed here. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. You guys need to be really careful about what you get yourselves into when it comes to money. When it comes to money. You don't want to get yourself in something you can't get out of that's not legal. And personal riches, it says, take a hit. So you don't get all that you anticipated, whatever that's about. Okay. I think that's it. That was a short one. Nice to the point. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Oh, all right. That one's over. You may as well hang out with me for a minute, right? This was a really short read, so no big deal. I'm cleaning up the board, cleaning up the canvas. You know, this is what it looks like when it all goes down. Literally, when I take them down, this is what the board looks like. It's a canvas. Ah, I had a long day, guys. I did. I had to do some stuff. I had to do some stuff, stuff. So I'm like in and out online. I've been doing this and trying to research. But, you know, it's all good. I do thank you guys, though, so much for all your support. I do. I am going to let you guys go. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Hold on. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I love you guys. Bye.